Hello and welcome to the video. This is about two interesting things and how they work together. First of all are these things here. Now for those of you that have been living under a rock you probably won't know what these are but everyone else has probably recognise these. These are the DJI HD goggles for FPV. Now these are feats of technology and work spectacularly well but if you already have lots of goggles then you kind of have to buy this thing in order to experience it. Now, the way the on-screen display works in here is very different, and I've been trying to get it to work with iNav and ended up talking to the developers, and it appears there's a bit of a snag with iNav OSD. It's just been supported in a release of iNav, and I wanted to quickly explain why the iNav on-screen display doesn't have all the funkiness like the return to home arrow and the map mode and all that greatness, because there is a very good reason for that. Now, first of all, before we get into all that, let me just remind you of how good old analog FPV works. So here's one of my little armor tank quads. The way it works is the camera sends the video image into the flight controller. The flight controller then has a chip on board that then overlays the on-screen display. There's a video out of the flight controller that goes to the video transmitter that comes down into the goggles. And that's why when we record it, you get the on-screen display just like you would expect. Now that way of working is very, very different from how it works in DJI land. Now the way it works in DJI land is that the uh, the on-screen display is actually created in the goggles. And what happens is the flight controller over the two wires in here, you plug those into a UART, a spare UART on your flight controller, configure that for multi wii serial protocol or MSP, and then that telemetry is actually sent from these antennas all the way down into the goggles, is received in the goggles, and it's actually inside the goggles where they interpret that MSP telemetry stream and display it on the screen. That's also one of the reasons why at the moment it doesn't appear when you record the DVR in these. You don't get the on-screen display because it actually isn't part of the image. The image is separate and the telemetry is coming down as a separate stream over the link, which is very clever, but then the OSD is created in the goggles. The challenge comes in that the on-screen display stuff that's inside the DJI goggles is written to understand beta flight MSP telemetry. And that works really nicely. But the challenge is that iNav don't use the beta flight format. They actually have a much more rounded format with lots of extra things that allow us to have the map mode, the GPS return to home, direction arrows, and all that kind of goodness that we know and love in iNav. So to get this to work, the iNav development team have had to use a little bit of a trick or a bodge. And what happens is when you're using the DJI HD system, the iNav telemetry, the MSP telemetry, actually gets sent out in the beta flight format, which doesn't have the ability for all those extra pieces. The good bit is that it actually works then in the goggles and it just appears in the same kind of beta flight stuff. The bad news is, is that you don't get all those extra goodies that we really love as iNav pilots and we can't get that for a little while yet because the challenge is that it's the firmware inside these goggles that needs to be updated. Now I have asked DJI to, uh, to get on with this. DGI are aware of this and the iNav development team are talking to them. Well, it's one of those things that's kind of on the list for release. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to be anytime soon. Hopefully, by us going on places like the Facebook forum and asking for it, if enough people ask it for it, it'll move up the priority list and we'll get that out. Because if we have the ability for these goggles to decode full iNav MSPV2 telemetry streams, then potentially we could have all of that wonderful stuff that we love in analog FPV with iNav in the DJI goggles. So call to action if this is something you're interested in, go and let DJI know. I'll put a link to the Facebook stuff down below and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get it sorted sometime soon. When it is, I'll post a video and show you what it looks like. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the inner circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. 
check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.